think you are in terms of this offense and your overall game? Yeah, uh, I mean, just getting here in the spring. We'll even get here in January, getting to learn a lot without having to go through football because um, that didn't start until spring ball, obviously. So just progressing through spring ball and then getting into some workouts, growing my body. Um, I feel like I've progressed a little bit. What have been the biggest learning curves uh, learning this offense and playing college? Um, probably just the speed of not just the offense, but also the game itself. Uh, it's a step up from high school for sure. So just getting that learning curve down. Joey mentioned that he feels like you've put yourself in position to earn some playing time at some point this year. Why, why do you feel like you've done that? Um, yeah, I feel like the coaches have prepared me really well. Um, just learning in meetings, sitting on meetings, um, getting all the knowledge I can from those guys and also knowledge from Gaston and Nico. Um, We're going to rotate around position. 215 the next group. How have those guys helped you the most in, in your transition to Tennessee? Uh, mostly we just play the playbook, decision making, um, even little things like how to write notes, how to carry yourself in the locker room. Yeah, Coach also mentioned that you put yourself in position to maybe have a chance to see some playing time as a freshman. How much of a payoff is that for you already, that, that hard work that you put into the playbook is starting to be recognized? Um, yeah, it does mean a lot. The coach said that. So, you know, I'm excited, but I know I have to keep working if I want to shot that. How have the other quarterbacks helped you with that? Uh, they've helped me tremendously just learning from those guys who've done this before because um, I'm new. So they've been in this position before. Just being able to learn from them uh, has been really cool. What's the dynamic like with you guys in that room, the four or five guys? Just, I mean, you're all competing, of course. Right. It feels like you guys are pretty tight. Yeah, I think our quarterback room is actually really unique in that sense. We're super tight. We'll go out to eat together. We're always cracking jokes in the meetings. But at the same time, we know that uh, we have a job to do and we compete with each other and uh, we handle it like professionals. In today's day and age of recruiting, not many quarterbacks are following up a five-star quarterback right. to the school. Why, why were you comfortable in, in doing so? Yeah, um, yeah, I think that's a good point. I was, I felt comfortable with just being able to learn from him, being able to learn from Coach Heupel and Coach Halsey, getting an offense where I know that I could get developed. That was the main thing for me. What's the expectation of what this team can achieve this season? I think to win, our expectation is to win every game that we play. Um, I don't think that's a long shot. I think we know we can do it. We just got to continue to work and have a good camp. You came in with a really talented freshman class yourself and several others on the ball. What have you seen from some of those other freshmen on the offensive side? Who's maybe stood out to you? Right. Uh, just everybody's grown a ton since being here in January, whether it be their body or just learning the playbook. So. Really, everyone uh, stood out to me, but uh, I know Mike's had a great, but receivers, Mike and Braylon had a great spring ball, so I'm excited to see what they do in camp. How would you uh, describe y'all's receiver room? Deep, really deep. Uh, there's a lot of talent in there, and I'm excited to be able to throw those guys.